Hello, welcome to our Mass. Today is the Ascension of the Lord. Our processional hymn is to Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate that, that Jesus has been taken up to heaven, where he sits at the right hand of the Father. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God.
goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mount His throne to shouts of joy. upon his holy A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all these things beneath his feet and gave him his head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the conclusion of the holy gospel according to luke glory to glory you, lord. to you o lord jesus said to his disciples thus it is written that the christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. 
you are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Why are you men from Galilee standing, looking up into the sky? For most people, this is the scripture passage that comes to mind whenever they think of today's celebration, the ascension of our Lord. Should we understand the ascension literally? Did, did Jesus say goodbye to his disciples and then float up into space, riding the clouds? But, but where is heaven? Is it above Jerusalem? Is, is it the whole area that encircles the earth? I think it will help our understanding if we think of heaven not so much as a place, but as a relationship with God. A relationship with God who is everywhere. The ascension is part of what we call the Paschal mystery. This mystery of our faith has four parts that are very intimately related. The suffering and death of Jesus, his resurrection, his ascension, and the sending of the Holy Spirit. Our celebration of Easter Sunday, the resurrection, says that the crucified Jesus is alive. And the celebration of the ascension says that the living Jesus has entered into glory with the Father. In the second reading today, St. Paul tells us that, that Jesus sits at the Father's right hand and is above every principality, every authority, power, or dominion. That's the basic meaning of the assumption, that Jesus, our triumphant Messiah, our King, reigns in glory over all creation. If you notice from Paul's account, he, he doesn't really worry about where this heaven is, or how Jesus got there. It's just that he's there, and he's reigning in glory. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is the story that most of us would tell if we were asked to describe the ascension. Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. He spent 40 days teaching his disciples about the kingdom of God. And during this time, the disciples waited for Jesus to restore the kingdom of Israel. They still didn't understand just what Jesus' mission was and what Jesus was asking them to do. But during this time, they begin to understand that they are the ones not who will restore the kingdom of Israel, but help to establish the kingdom of God. One day on the Mount of Olives, as the disciples looked on, Jesus was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. This lifting up should be thought of as the risen Jesus being raised to the glory of God the Father. This is emphasized by the cloud. Think, think of when we've heard of the clouds before. It's the same cloud that shrouded Mount Sinai as Moses received the Ten Commandments. The same cloud that the voice spoke from at Jesus' baptism in the Jordan, and the same cloud that covered Jesus at his transfiguration. The cloud symbolized the presence of God. And, and that's why the disciples are told not to stand there looking up into the sky. The risen and the ascended one is not there. If they want to meet him again, they will have to return to Jerusalem, where on Pentecost, They'll be filled with his spirit and become the body of the risen 
and exalted Jesus. They will be his physical presence on earth. The readings give us different ways of understanding Jesus' ascension into glory. On this ascension day, we celebrate the exaltation of the risen Lord. But what we celebrate is a reality. The reality that Jesus died, rose, and now reigns at the right hand of the Father. Remember the, my homily at least a couple weeks ago, the scripture readings talked about a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem, and a new commandment. The resurrection of Jesus marks the beginning of this new era. The risen Lord is truly alive, as we heard in the scripture accounts of his encounters with the apostles after the resurrection. However, the risen Jesus is not limited by the conditions of life as we know them. After his resurrection, Jesus walked through locked doors. Jesus appears on the seashore. On the road to Emmaus, Jesus appears and walks with his disciples and is not recognized until he reveals himself in the breaking of the bread. Christ's ascension tells us that it's not that Jesus went somewhere, not that he left us, because he's here. The resurrected and the ascended Jesus is here, and he's there. He's with the people of Jerusalem, the people of Ukraine. He's with the people of Pittsburgh, and he's here in Cumberland with us. We recognize Jesus' presence in the scripture, his presence in the Eucharist, his presence in each and every one of us and in the church. And so we should look at today's feast as a celebration of Jesus' glory after his suffering and death. And it's a glory in which we hope also to share. We who celebrate the ongoing presence of the risen Jesus among us, a presence that calls on every one of us to be living witnesses to that presence, here in our community, and even to the ends of the earth. We affirm our faith as together we pray, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Rejoicing in the glory of Jesus, we place our needs before the Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the bishops of the church, may they never tire proclaiming the risen and ascendant Lord as our hope for salvation and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and an end to war and conflict among peoples and nations, may all people continue to open their hearts and minds to the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they experience God's healing and peace through his grace and the loving care of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the Lord renew and deepen our faith and lead us to greater joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may the light of glory of the risen and ascended Lord shine as a source of eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers placed in our book of intentions, especially for all parishioners who are being remembered at this Mass, and for all those prayers and petitions placed in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers we bring to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our hymn, during the preparation of the altar, is crown him with many crowns. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, 
we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our communion hymn is, Lord, you gave the great commission. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank God. Our recessional hymn is, Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory. <laughs> 